Good morning and welcome to Phuket Country Club for the second time, also the last time. Oh, steps. One thing I haven't been able to show you really is the driveways up to the clubhouse. You know, some of these driveways are nearly a mile long and you go through, another step, you go through beautiful planting, trees and shrubs and flowers. And all the gardens around the clubhouse are, are just amazing. It's, it's a tropical paradise. The clubhouses themselves are out of this world. And here at Phuket Country Club, they got the best showers in the world I've ever had, period. The cubicles are big enough to get an entire football team. Hang on, don't want to run over a caddy. Swaddy cap. and uh, huge huge rain shower and you just stand in there and cool off and it's beautiful now when you get into the clubhouses you think god i bet it's expensive in here for food and drink and it's just not it's thailand it's thailand prices all right it's a little bit more expensive than buying out the 7-eleven but it's fantastic now i'm off in about half an hour i'm going to hang out with the caddies I always love having a good laugh with the caddies. So, uh, I'm going to get a cold drink and have some chat with the ladies. See you on the first tee. Let's see if I can apply my method of playing golf to this golf course. Now, strictly speaking, I don't need the driver down this first hole. It's not long enough. But I do like to get the driver out early just to see how it's going. A little bit right. No, no, this is it. Oh, this is right. Little bit right. Yeah. Oh, not enough. Go. Left, left, good. Just okay. Just on. Not bad. Good bounce. Yeah. Look, cool. Lucky. Just going to have a little walk down to the first here. How can you tell you've got a good caddy? Well, I'm off the beaten track. I've missed the fairway by a fair amount. The flag is way at the back of the green. So it's nowhere near the middle. So you would think it's a little bit hard to guess the yardage. She said 80 yards. I got the laser out. It was 81. So I got a lady here today who knows what the hell she's doing. So I better play well and not let her down, had I? A little bit short with that, I think I just went under the ball there in the rough. Um, and I've got to remember that Phuket's greens are a little slower than Red Mountain. God, look, the sweat's pissing off me already. Well, for whatever reason, the camera plays up all day today with the focus. I can only put it down to the heat and the humidity. And I've got to remember that's it, that's it. that these greens, the ball needs hitting on. Right, 135. I could thrash the 9 iron down here. But an easy 8 is much better. Yeah. Maybe birdie. Because <laughs> an easy 8, I can hit the correct distance and end up pin high. Thank you so much. Oh, no banana. It's in the rough, isn't it? Yeah. So, I've just made it. This is a fairly easy swing. Just got to get it over this green tree in front of me. I've had to cut the road noise out of these... Uh, few clips because it was just too much monkey grass rough on an upslope and banking on a flyer and the camera goes out of focus but that really did fly it flew all the way off the back 
Now because the greens are a bit slow, this chip isn't particularly daunting. Ninety degree dog leg left, so you're forced to hit a lesser club. I'm going with five wood here. I've just squirted that a little bit right on my target. And yet another four iron from the monkey grass fairway. Now there's plenty of room beyond this flag, so I'm taking enough club to get up there. But it doesn't come out the grass very well. Just been called through. The caddy stuffed a seven iron in my hand. I ran on the tee and hit it. And it was so perfect, I didn't even watch it down. Shame we had to rush the putt. Oh, you pig. Yeah, it's just a Nick Noy. Tight hole, so three wood. So I'm playing aggressive where I can, and I'm playing safe where I have to. That's all a little bit rushed, as will be explained momentarily. Perhaps the five wood would be better, because I've left myself an awkward number here. Alright guys, so, rush the birdie putt, we got called through. 7-iron was really good, but then I had a little downhill there and we rushed the reed, we rushed the putt, now we rush the tee shot, now we rush this second shot, now we get to slow down. But it's cloud cover today, so it's not as hot, but it does mean the humidity comes up. And to be honest, I prefer humidity to sunshine. Got about 15, let's see what we can do with this. So the first time I played this hole I hit 3 wood, at 326 3 wood is it. This time my caddy says driver. Now I'm not too sure of the shape of the hole, I wasn't sure that this was okay. And now there you are, caddy number 19, that's who you want to book. And I've got this 47 again. If you look at the shape of the green, it's left to right. And I want to hit it left to right and it releases down for a tap in. Yeah, half a That's ball. rather nice. Come cap, ready. 400 yards, driver. I think this is wide enough. I didn't do too well last time. And I haven't really done too well this time. Maybe Nick Noy better. Oh, Simon. Perhaps it is a three wood off that tee. But then you'd have quite a long iron into this green if you did. A typical monkey grass. You just never know how the ball's going to come out of it. And this time the slow green defeats me. Thank <laughs> you. 
That took, that took some yards off it. Oh, that. That's no good. That's no good. Okay. Now we get some cold drink and some shade from five minutes. I think one of the most important things in golf is knowing how far you really carry the golf ball with a driver. Yeah, that's good. Not how far you think you carry the golf ball with a driver. That's good. Right, we're going for the green just for a laugh. I had one nine five here. Caddy's got me five wood. I resisted the yeah, temptation. That's the way to do it. Nice and safe. And I think I did the right thing overall. Yeah, I'm certain that the five wood would have got over Six. the water. Six. Would have got over the bunker. A little bit big. But I'm an amateur. I can't guarantee that. Oh boy, I wish I could hold some putts today. That was a bit weird. So I come off nine, gone in the drink stop, and I need 12 to 15 minutes because I am baked sweat is dripping off my hat when I'm trying to swing the golf club or putt which is a bit off-putting a bit like the caddy holding the uh, the umbrella over me when I was putting and the edge of the umbrella the shadows moving all over the place so I'm shattered and I needed a break so anyway the three ball that had let me through because I was in there for about 15 minutes caught me up they came straight into the drink stop straight to me what's this pointing at the camera in broken German I said, it's a camera. What do you think it is? They said, you, you play too slow. You should be on 10th tee now. You make us wait. I said, I don't give two fucks what you think. You want to play through, play through. Go. I don't care. And they kind of looked at me. And then they sat down, got out a bag, because they must be expats living here. They got out a bag full of sandwiches, sat down, started to eat and I've just completed the 10th and they're still sat in the drink stop so why the hell were they giving me grief? Fuck them! This hole is wide enough for the driver so let's hit driver All right. My caddy went looking for my second tee shot and I said it's in, it's in the water, don't bother well she found the ball, I was pin high Way right, but pin high, but you know, I'd have had a pitch of about 45 yards with a sand wedge. Ah oh well, at least I made it. I think this might be the first wrong club of the day. In fact, I think it's the only wrong club of the day. 7 iron would Good. have been a lot easier to hit the centre of this green with. Oh, Nick Noy Short. Okay. Yeah. I, I was I was out yeah, here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, I was too wide. Mm. Ah. A very tight hole, so we're back to the three wood. Go right a bit, right a bit. Is that bunker? It's okay, I think. I think. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, shit. This grass is so difficult to play out of. I'm not entirely sure why I hit the previous one thin. But I've still got a par chance. But maybe this putt, it sums up how difficult uh, it is to get the ball to the hole. Yeah, a little bit soft. It's a little bit hard hitting the ball and concentrating and putting today. As soon as I bend my head forward, the sweat is just dripping off the brim of my cap and it's, a, it's kind of like a little distraction. Especially as you think, oh god, remind myself to drink, 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 and more drink. Yeah, bogey. So what, I'm on holiday. This place is, this place is gorgeous. Shame about the monkey grass, but you're always going to find a bit of that in Thailand. Right, long par four. Let's see if we can uh, squeeze a par out of this one. Well, I want to get this one down the left side of the fairway, close to the cart path. Oh, much left. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, the four iron's getting a bit of a workout today. I've lost count how many times I've used it. So much for it being a short golf course. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty good at lagging, and I don't even practice it. Oh, too far. It just turn, turn. happens to work for me. Oh, good. Really good. Really good. <laughs> well, you can't see it, but this is a very wide fairway. So absolutely yeah. no fear in yeah. the driver. Perfect. And I'm banking on a bit of a flyer here. Monkey grass fairway. Oh, a little left. Turn right. Turn. Sit. Sit. That's okay. We make par from there. Right, uh, as it's dropping cooler, there's a bit of breeze, there's going to be a bit of thunderstorm in the air, a few drops of rain at the moment, but hopefully we'll get in. I, I can't describe what it's like to play off these monkey grass fairways. You know, it's, it's a broad leaf grass. Sometimes it sits up, sometimes it sits down very hard to get clean contact on the ball and get the direction you want. I thought I was going to get a bit of a flyer there and well we just didn't. Left edge of the green, let's make the par. Although I've got a chip over a little shoulder this is going to be awkward. You know it's amazing you come out here and you look at all the different trees and you can't stop looking. You're looking at everything even in the cart charging down the cart path you know your eyes aren't exactly on where you're going you're just looking at all the trees and the flowers yeah thailand is a beautiful place to come and play golf even if you play badly you're hot and sweaty and you're knackered yeah i think we should have gone six iron there right chip and a put thunder's coming Thunder coming. Yeah. I need to land about here. Turn yeah. So when you've got a shot like this, you've got to pick your landing point. Have a look at your lie, 
and then pick the club that's going to do the job for you. For me, it's a sand wedge with a slightly open face and job done. And then you've got a real good chance of saving your par. Nice par. Not bad. <laughs> right, the rain's stopping. Still some lunatics out there walking around with a uh, umbrella up in this thunderstorm. I chipped and putted the last for par. I hit a seven iron to this back flag and we got another chance of a par. Slow because it's wet. Mm. Good father. Very happy. Right, three wood to the heart of the fairway. Bit more aggressive than the first time I played the hole, but still very, very safe. And then five iron for a perfect layup. Oh. Except. That's no, not no, no, a perfect no, no, no. layup. Then a little bunt with an eight iron, trying to roll the wrists and hit a little ook. Uh, but it didn't. Right. Three seasons in one day, maybe four. It looks like. The lens is steaming up, my glasses are steaming up, the sweat is pissing off me. What a fantastic caddy and when you get a caddy like this that you totally trust then you realise just how bad some of the others are. I think I've gone a little bit long and a little bit right, bound to off that. So uh, let's finish with a par shall we? I think this has been a good round. So I haven't once tried to hit the cover off the golf ball. I've hit the driver and the three wood smooth. I've hit the hybrid smooth when I needed to. I've hit my iron smooth. I've tried to hit the ball in the correct portion of a green where I could. But it's not perfect golf because I'm not a perfect golfer. But you have to have the intention you have to have the thought of what am I going to do, where do I want it, what length shot do I want into a green, what part of the green do I want to hit or miss to make my life as easy as possible. When you get it right, you end up with a score like this. Cheerio. Oh, not enough. Not enough, not hard enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I think you would run next.